and we are back. I am one of the information girls. And I am Marlene and I am one of the information girls. Well, today we're coming to you uh, because a lot of our friends are getting hit with uh, repetitious content. And Marlene and I, we want to uh, go into the community guidelines and find this information so that we can tell you guys about what we have found and what it is and what not to do. And I'm going to go ahead and share the screen, but I'm going to let Marlene say whatever it is she wants to say about this. Yeah. One of the reasons why uh, Gio and I wanted to um, share this information, I know we've talked about this uh, before, but because so many are being hit by it, we want to protect um all of our audience that they can not go through this so that we can prevent it from somebody. So Gio is going to pull up the information and hopefully everyone will pay attention so that it won't happen to you. Right. Okay. So let me go ahead and share the screen here. Okay. Uh, you should be seeing uh, repetitious content right here, which is repetitive uh, content. And I just want to make sure that it is on the screen and it is. Okay, let's talk about this, Marlene. Re repetitious content. Let's talk about uh, what that really means for repetitive uh, content. It is the same thing, repetitious content. It is content that refers to channels where the content is so similar, viewers may have trouble spotting the difference between videos on the same channel. This policy is based on the search console portion of AdSense program policies. We put it in a context that's more relevant for YouTube creators. So this is what it really means. Uh, this policy applies to your channel as a whole. In other words, if you have many videos that violate our guidelines, monetization may be removed from your channel. Now let's move on down here to where it says examples. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, content that uh, violates this guideline, okay? When a channel's content consists of similar content, it can frustrate viewers who come to YouTube for appealing and interesting videos. Wow. This means, that means it says, channels where content is only slightly different from video to video are not allowed to monetize. In other words, your channel shouldn't consist of content that automatically created, that's automatically created or produced using a basic template. Now, to me, that means that if you got a template or you doing it the same way all the time, then it, it confuses the audience. What do you think, Marlene? I think basically basically is saying that you have to show your channel as being different. What makes yours di distinguished from another channel? You have okay. to show how you're different. But it says when a channel's content, when, when it's repetitive, it's repetitive on your channel. It, it has nothing to do with somebody else's channel. You understand? It says when. It, okay, let me go back up here because see, this is why me and Marlene does this. Okay, so that we could get a full understanding of what it is. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here. Okay, repetitive content refers 
to channels where the content is so similar, viewers may have trouble spotting the difference between videos on the same channel. So we're talking about your channel only, right, Marlene? Oh, yes, uh, only your channel. So it can't all look the same, the same thing over and over again. Yeah, it, it's a basic template. See, guys, we are the information girls, and this is why we do this. Because sometimes when we read stuff or we hear it, we hear it like two, three different ways. But if we keep reading it and then just like Marlene thought it said something else, but it really said this, that is what ha that that can happen to anybody. Right, Marlene? Yes. This is why you have to have you have to keep reading it or you can go to the back office and ask the uh, the uh, Google assistance back there, the YouTube assistance and see if they can explain it a bit better. So now that we got that out the way, we can go back to uh, content that violates this guideline, okay? Now let's just read this part here where it says, examples of what's not allowed to monetize. This is not the full list, but this is basically what people get demonetized for and it is content that exclusively features readings of other materials you did not originally create like text from website or news feed so you just can't go to somebody's website and just read it you have to have your own uh bring in your uh own uh how, how can I say that, Marlene? Uh, you, make, you, you have to bring your own value. Right. You have to kind of, you can read it, but then you have to come say, okay, well, that means this, this, and that. And another thing is you, it is better to show your face when you're doing something like that. Mm -hmm. And then it is also better not to read the whole thing. You read one a line or two, and then you just say what you want to say about it and make it educational and, and interesting to your viewers, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else on that, Marlene? Yeah. Everybody, you just have to make, make everything, you know, whatever it is that you're doing on your personal channel, you can't make it be the same thing all the time. It can't look like you're using the same uh, same files or you're talking about the same thing all the time. Everything has to be different. Right. Okay, move on to the next one. What's not allowed to monetize under repetitive uh, or repetitious uh, uh, content, okay? Similar, uh, okay, let me get to this one. Songs modified to change the pitch or speed, but are otherwise identical to the original. So mm -hmm. you have a song, you know, and, and, and you change up the, the, the pitch or the speed, okay? And then it, it kind of sounds like something else, but people really can know what that is an original tune you cannot do that mm. okay you just cannot do that and once again we are talking about uh repetitious content okay and that refers to uh channels where the content is so similar that it may confuse your audience okay let's move on to the next one uh similar repetitive content or mindless content with low educational value, commentary, or narrative. Mm. Okay? Now, this is how come some, some people lose their monetization because of this particular one. Similar repetitive content or mindless content with low educational value, commentary, or, or narrative. Which means that you got somebody's content up on your well i don't want to say somebody's but you're reading from a website okay and then you just say one thing about it that's it and then you keep reading 
and keep reading and keep reading. And you don't offer no educational value. You don't offer no commentary or your own narrative. You know what I'm saying? So you can like show like uh, something you seen out of the newspaper, online newspaper, you know, uh, teacher hit student. Okay, something like that. Well, what you got to do is bring the educational value to that and your own commentary and narrative. Do you think that's about what it's all about, Marlene? Exactly. You can't just read things as they call verbatim, word for word. You have to put something in. Why did you cover? I wanted to cover this because of this or because I live in this state and I or I have you know, some children that are this age, you have to bring some value and education to your platform. Right. Let's move on to the next thing that will violate uh, uh, this, uh, that violates this guideline, which is repetitious slash repetitive. Okay. Template, templated, mass produced or programmably programmatically generated content. That means that you're using the same template, okay? It, it, nothing changes other than a few words is what I'm thinking. What about you, Marlene? Yeah, it's, it's the same thing all the time. <laughs> right. And it's a, just a couple of, you know, you might say two or three words that's different. They don't like that. They will, if it's too many of them on your channel, they will demonetize you for that. That's why, you know, everything that to me, the, the, the thing about this whole thing, Marlene, is you just got to be original. Mm -hmm. That's that's just the bottom line. OK. Or you need the information. If you're going to review something, you just put it up there. You talk about what they said in the thing, in the in the article, and then you do your own narrative and then make it educational to folks. This is the last one under repetitive uh, and uh, examples of what's not allowed to monetize in repetitive content slash uh, uh, repetitious content. Okay, here is the last one, which I think is a biggie. Images, image slideshows. I'm reading right here are scrolling texts with minimal or no narrative commentary or educational value. Go ahead, Marlene, talk about it. <laughs> Listen, when they talk about sliding videos, right? Listen, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people are getting hit for this is because all people are doing is just taking some some files that they find and then then no changes made to it it's the same thing over and over again and then they just upload it to the channel so you know i'm not coming for anybody but we can't be lazy this is called youtube you have to make it your own true and you know I have looked at a couple of, uh, once I read this, really read this for myself, Marlene, I went to my channels and I deleted that. Because when we first came on to YouTube back in, in 2019, we, I didn't know this information. Did you? No. I, it, I, did, I didn't know anything, Gio. And that's one of the reasons why you, both you and I decided to do a lot of changes to all of our channels. Right. When we really got together and we started reading these community guidelines and I read that part and I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. This is not right. You just can't throw up a beach and then just say meditation in your title. <laughs> you know, they're going to call That's That's not going to fly. They're going to call that repetitious, uh, repetitive content. And it's mindless. It's no educational value, no commentary. 
you know, you guys can do whatever you want, but we're showing, we're telling you from the community guidelines what they're saying. And I'll read it again. Image slideshows or scrolling text with minimal or no narrative commentary or educational value. And I have to say, I was very guilty of it because I didn't know. I was just following what other people was doing. You know, yeah. oh, that's all you got to do is put up a beach and let the waves hit and there's nothing else. No, if you're going to do something like this, it let it be your original content and then you just say what it is. You know what I'm saying, Marlene? Yeah, and um, I, I'm i going to share something, but I want to do something with Gio on a What Had Happened Was show to talk about that some more. Okay. All right. So if you're going to do a slideshow, make sure that yo you on there somewhere. You know, you could be down at the bottom. I don't know. But you got to show your face. You got to have some kind of commentary, some kind of narrative, letting the audience know why you showing just the beach. And then, you know, you can... You come in in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end. Something that's going to keep your audience watching. Because they click on the video and they just read the title, meditation. That's it. Meditation for what? What is this all about? That is why they're saying, I'll read it again, image slideshows or scrolling text with minimum or no narrative co commentary or educational value violates the monetization policy and they're going to call it repetitious content slash repetitive content well guys that's what we have for you on this uh particular uh subject we hope you enjoyed it we will have the uh, link down below to this so that you can read this for yourself. If you have not subscribed to the Information Girls, please do so today. Marlene? And as always, leave us a comment in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. And, yes. and as, oh, I'm sorry, dear. And as we always say over here on the Information Girls, no rumors, just the facts. Yes. And as she said, you know, we you know, this is this is what we do. We pull up the community guidelines, we tell you what we think about it, and uh it's up to everybody to read them for themselves. Why? Because it's your business. If you want to get monetized and stay monetized, you need to know what is allowed on YouTube to stay monetized. I'm Gio. I am one of the information girls. And I am Marlene. And I am one of the information girls. And we will see you on the next information girls upload. Bye-bye, everybody. Information girls. We got the girls we got. Strategies where dreams come true Let's rock this chat Don't need no flag Got a lot of things to keep intact So pack that channel And show some loving No rumors, just the facts Don't you give up now